Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mother Nature. Are you yelling at the thunderstorms, Mom? <gasps> well, because they keep promising me rain and they don't deliver. My yucky cucumbers. Your yucky cucumbers? My yucky cucumbers. <laughs> That's what you're calling them now? Yeah. Yeah, they're yucky. Take a gander. This was my second batch. Well, third. Third, I think. Third. Yeah. Um, and they were doing very well. I was very pleased with them. Mm -hmm. And they produced three cucumbers, and I said, oh, goody. And they were full of pickle worms. And then the heat and no rain, and they're just yucky. They've, they're done. So I'm going to pull them all out, chuck them <laughs> again. <laughs> and try planting number four. You're gonna go for a fourth one? Yes. After three unsuccessful yes. attempts with bugs? I and will, uh, yes. You're mm. gonna go for number four? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm just waiting a week, maybe. <laughs> to hopefully the temperatures will drop down a little bit. Uh-huh. Uh, from what I read, fall plantings are not as hard hit with bugs as spring and summer plantings. So we're gonna put it to the test and we're gonna try planting number four. Okay. So everything is quite parched. Between the two of us, we've been watering sometimes twice a day and everything is just so parched. Oh, so, it smells good over in this corner. <laughs> well, these are all herbs, aren't they, pretty much? Uh, this is Artemisia. This is uh, lavender. This is pineapple sage. So like a little mini nursery area here? Yes. This is rosemary, rosemary, artemisia. There's some ivy in the back. There's pineapple sage down at the bottom. Yeah, that's all pineapple sage. Uh, I took some rose cuttings. I'm going to try them. This is uh, my chocolate mint. That's all I've got so far. Okay. So, we can go on. You hear that thunder? Do you hear that thunder? What do you think the odds are? <laughs> we will get rain. <laughs> Rockville is in this, this little protective bubble and it can be raining a mile up the road. And then it stops when it comes to Rockville. When you want rain, you don't get rain. When you don't want rain, then you get rain. So you're never happy. Yeah, that about sums it up. <laughs> that about sums it up. Mm -hmm. Dahlias have been frying in the sun and the heat. I really have nothing else to say about that. They've just... They're done. Yeah, yeah. Well, you made the decision to give up on your hopes of cultivating dahlias in South right. Carolina. Right. This is year four mm -hmm. that I have tried. And I was really psyched this spring because about 95% of all my dahlia tubers that I overwintered made it. They mm -hmm. were in excellent condition. They got off to a good start up until July, beginning of July, I guess. Yeah. 
they they just can't handle it. As you can see, it's not even like they're dying from the tubers. The leaves and flowers just can't take the sun. They're just scorched, horribly scorched. I was so enthused because I had figured out a way to do the overwintering mm -hmm. that worked so well, and it was fairly easy. Um, and I did buy new dahlias in addition. But uh, Without a greenhouse, it's too hard to control the variables. Or a hoop house. A hoop house, uh -huh. which would which would uh, keep some of the sun away, keep some of the rain if we had heavy rain. Um, uh, yeah. So, and since I don't have plans for a hoop house in my near future, uh, I'm. Uh, this is it. I'm going to give up. Oh, you should do a Kickstarter for a uh, hoop house. <laughs> Donate to Mom's hoop house campaign. Yeah. <laughs> Help mom get a hoop house. Uh, 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 Donate now. Whichever, <laughs> whichever dahlias make it until the winter, um, I will store them the same way I did last year. Mm -hmm. uh, so if I have any dahlias next spring to plant, I think I might put shade, I'll put them all in one tunnel, one archway and put shade cloth over the top and uh, maybe that will help. Okay. Maybe. The problem is they grow so darn tall but maybe if there's less sun they won't grow quite as tall. I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it because the way things are going I may not wind up with anything to winter over. So, so that's it. So I've been planting, I had taken some cuttings, there's the lemon balm and um, my cinnamon, lemon balm, uh, lemon basil and cinnamon basil and opal basil and some artemisia and all the way down the line there, there's more artemisia down there. Um, and those were cuttings that had been sitting over there for a couple of weeks. So I finally put them in the ground since I took out all the dahlias that didn't make it. Um, and that's, what, that's what's new here. Not a whole lot of action going on in the dead of summer. No, no. And that's, that's an apt term, dead of summer. Yeah, yeah. It's too Very hot. sad. <laughs> Very sad. <laughs> so you're ready for fall. I am. And I'm looking forward to the fall this year because I've been investigating um, what they call cool flowers, cool, cool, hardy annuals. Uh, and there is a book out by Lisa Ziegler. We'll put a link down because you can get it on Amazon, which I did order. Uh, should be here Monday. Uh, but Lisa Ziegler, um, is in Virginia, been preaching about cool flowers flowers that you're supposed to plant late winter, early spring, as soon as the ground can be worked. And she and several other people are saying that if you plant those seeds or those seedlings in the fall, late fall, they will get a head start during the winter and they will bloom early, March, April, May. Mm -hmm and flowers that we normally cannot grow down here because of the heat, like snapdragons, sweet williams, things like that. Okay. So I have never tried them before. Looking forward to trying that, uh, which would give us some flowers in the early, early, you know, like late winter, like March, mm -hmm. which is usually a nothing month as far as flowers go. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Disregard the weeds. <laughs> Don't look at the weeds. What, you mean those weeds? <laughs> All the, the way weeds over there? that are growing so well. <laughs> yes. You do well with weeds, Mom. I do. I do. Yeah. It's almost like you don't even try. No. No. They like it here. Yeah. They really do. Uh, All right. So this is your second fall tomato This is version. my fall tomato planting. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. These were all done from seeds. Um, 
Some are doing well, some are not doing well. Right, right. This poor thing was doing well up until last week, and, and as you can see, the hot weather just shriveled it, burnt it to a crisp. And all these plants have been watered every single day, so it's not it's not lack of water mm -hmm. that's giving it a problem. It's just heat. The poor things cannot tolerate heat. The ones that are doing the best are cuttings that I took from a couple plants before I tore everything mm. out. <laughs> uh, there's Whopper and Mortgage Lifter. Uh, BHN. I think those are the only the only ones I salvaged at the very end, and I wasn't going to take cuttings from them because they were indeterminates. Mm -hmm. But I said, "So what have you got to lose?" So I took some cuttings, rooted them, stuck them in, and they're doing very very well. This one plant on the end, this tomato plant, is Goliath which I picked up at Home Depot one day. It's a determinant plant. And it had this little tiny tomato on it. The tomato's still hanging on. <laughs> it's not really ripening that fast, but it's still there. Right, right. But see, the temperatures have been too hot. Right. So tomatoes will not ripen when it's that hot. Flowers, the plants won't set fruit when it's that hot. They won't, they won't make pollen when it's that hot. It gets too sticky. And the, so it, the bees can't pollinate anything, but that's doing good. But the uh, the cuttings obviously are the best way to go for the fall planting, mm -hmm. in my opinion. That's providing you have the plants already that you can take suckers from. Right. Uh, if you don't, then you have no choice other than to go to a nursery center or uh, start them yourself. So. So we shall see. So I'm waiting for the book on cool flowers and then I'll have to order more seeds because I don't have snapdragons and sweet williams and delphiniums and some of the other things. So uh, I'll just have to force myself to make a new list and buy some more seeds. Yeah, we know how that's going to be a struggle for you. It is, yes. I have to force myself mm -hmm. to sit down and do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's about it. You hear that thunder? Yes, Mom, we hear the thunder. I hear it rolling. It's rolling. It sounds like it's just coming right towards us. So we'll get rain then. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs>